Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. This is your host, River Foxen, and we are moving on with the story quest, so let's talk to Staleworm. I've come to expect a great deal from you, lass, and you've never once let me down. Yet, what I'd ask of you now goes beyond aught I've asked before. Would you hear my plea all the same? Just desserts. Stalewern has reason to believe that Severin is up to no good. Something must be done. It eases my mind to have your ear. You're no doubt familiar with that scoundrel Severin by now. Well, the scheme and scapegrace is at it again. Since that letter came for him, he's been skulking about in that manner he does when he's up to no good. Now he's rounded up his rogues and buggered off with nary a word to anyone. I've grown accustomed to his insolence, but something tells me this is different. It ain't exactly damning, but when I last had words with him, he didn't look defiant so much as hunted. I can't help thinking he's gone looking for trouble and found more than he wanted. So I was hoping you might hunt his sorry hide down and drag it back here before it's too late. The ungrateful little cur bites me every chance he gets. But I can't quite bring myself to cut him loose. I suppose he reminds me a bit of my younger self. Suffice it to say, I'd rather he didn't come to a sticky end. As for how to find him, I'd say I'd try asking Grin Wyda at the Aetherite. She was the last one to see him. I dare say she'll be able to tell you where he was headed. Head over to the Aetherite. And there she is. Nothing that passes through those gates escapes my notice. I saw the Rouser and his rabble set out for Wode Whisper Canyon not long ago, singing about drinking themselves stupider. Cheeky sods said I should join them. I told them I'd rather shrivel up than sip whatever it was that had pickled their brains. If you find the idle swine, be sure to give them a cuff round the ear from me, will you? All right, so apparently they went off drinking. So we gotta head over to Wood Whisper Canyon. Let's uh, bring out our pet. Oh yeah, I should talk to the Chocobo Keep. So, early on, when you don't have money, using the uh, Chocobo Porter is a good way to get around. You see, I can head back to uh, Limsa for uh, 15 gil instead of uh, walking all the way there. Although, uh, because I can return to Limsa for zero gil, it actually isn't quite that worth it. Um, but if I didn't have the home point there, it'd be cheaper than teleporting, which could cost... Uh, as I think the lowest amount for a teleport is 100 kill. And as you can see, I only have 800, so if I used a lot of teleporting, I would go through that really quickly. Oh, that's a high level creature there, level 50. So we're going to head down these stairs, down into the canyon. Oh, here's somebody. Oh, I remember him. He was one of the, the slackers. Of all the dirty, deceitful, downright, dastardly deeds that slippery bastard's done. Claiming to take the lads out for a drink only to lead us straight into a bloody trap. It don't get no lower than that. Of course, I've learned to stay a step ahead of old Severin, so I was ready. But the others weren't so lucky. You've got to help them. You know, after what happened with the, the goblins, you think they would have learned their lesson.
Mm, a water sprite. Oh, he seems to have uh, escaped as well. Aramis. My ex may as well have been a white flag for all the good it did. Hope you fare better, or the sorry bastards in there are done for. Alright. So we're going to have to fight some people here. So this glowy thing means that we're going to go kind of into an instance combat. Sozai Rarzai. Severin might have got us into this mess, but I ain't about to let him give his life for us. I'd sooner bow to a fishback than be in that conniving bastard's debt to arms. All right, let's proceed. A true knave. You betray even yourself, Severin. Ugh. We were prepared to overlook the matter of your desertion on the condition that you provided us with suitable replacements. That was the agreement. Yet your latest change of heart leaves your debt to us unpaid. You are they who betray the serpent reavers twice. You will not do so a third time. Cowering behind your protector will only delay the inevitable. Honorless wretch, your life is all you have left. And worthless though it may be, we shall take it. O mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. Fighting this thing. You are strong, but are you strong enough to withstand this? Possible. Never has the golem been so sorely tested. Alright, took care of that. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Huh. The snake slithered away. I am only glad he did not have the chance to sink his fangs more deeply into you.
Those pirates do not belong to any of the known Lamincin factions. Whom then do they serve? The beast tribes? Surely not. But the timing of their appearance coincides all too neatly with the recent surge in Sahagan and Kobold activity. Something is afoot. The question is, what? Could it be that the tribes are planning to summon their primals? Twelve help us if it should prove so. Limsa would be hard pressed to keep a single primal at bay, let alone two. But all is yet speculation. I must needs find evidence. The seas continue to rise. while the lesser moon continues to fall. And ilm by ilm, the world becomes ever more unlike itself. It is as Louis Soi forced hold. The coming of chaos has rendered the laws of nature mutable, blurring the boundary between the material and ethereal planes. Little now stands between us and the primals. But they are not here yet. Though time be against us, hope shall ever be on our side. Never did the creed of Charlayan ring more true. Never did I dream I, that I would possess the means to see Aether. Yet now that I do, I do begin to take it for granted. How swiftly do the wonders of Charlayan seem commonplace? Um. Here, for you. Have you come for the festivities? Today the Maelstrom officially makes that great hole in the sea its training ground. Join in the celebrations. Wait, a disturbance in the etheric flow? But whence does it emanate? See Song Grotto, perhaps? What have we here? Can you walk? Tis I. Regrettably, no, he eluded me. Understood. I will inform the Commodore. You collapsed from your exertions. Are you suitably recovered? Severin here has apprised me of all that transpired. His account shed some light upon how you came to be attacked by a golem of all things. A golem is a mindless automaton, inert save when commanded to be otherwise. Common pirates could not hope to control such a thing, so arcane are its workings. But then these tattooed wretches are no common pirates. They are the minions of the Sahagin. As to their purpose, well, I shall get to the bottom of it. But first I must escort Severin back to his place of employment. I dare say Stalwern will be wondering what has become of him. And you too, for that matter. I will bear word of him of your preservation, but I am certain he would like to thank you in person. Pray pay the man a visit. Ah, he told me of you, but perchance did he not tell you of me? My name is Yashtola. I am a naturalist of sorts. Surveying the ether in hope that it might offer up some clue as to our predicament. I'd say I owed you my life, but that don't cover it. If it weren't for you, my friends would be dead and all. Tis a debt I can never repay, but I'll not make things worse by running away. Take me to Summerford Farms. 
and I'll face the consequences. For reasons I cannot fathom, you seem... Forgive me. Mayhap we shall have a chance to speak again when I have marshaled my thoughts. Until our paths next cross, farewell. So, uh, get used to falling into that trance. It happens a lot. Anyway, we are going to head back to the farm. Looks like someone else was uh, getting ready to do the same quest. through. Well, I'm not going to mess with him right now. He will destroy me. So yeah, we got another little glimpse of uh, the upcoming story. The uh, beginning of this game, of course, is uh, really kind of slow going. It's kind of trying to say that you're starting from the bottom and you have to kind of uh, earn uh, the respect of people before they give you really important jobs to do so that's why you do things like collecting manure and killing weak monsters Severin. Let's see what he has to say. And yours in all adventure. I've caused more than my fair share of trouble during my time here. Not that you need telling. Alright. Lo, I knew you'd return. Yastola delivered Severin a bit ago. Tales of your heroic deeds precede you. The rest came shuffling back, too, the lot of them sporting the same haunted expression. It's me who's to blame for that, that and the rest. I was once a serpent reaver. A thrall to the Sahagin? Seven hells. Reavers may look and sound and act like pirates, but they're naught but the fishback flunkies. Us pirates ain't much for laws, but there's things we won't do. We've got a code, you see, but the Reavers never followed a word of it. A few years back, they started snatching law-abiding Linsons. I'd only just taken my oath when our captain bent the knee to his new Sahagan masters. I knew I had to get away. So I crept off one night, got myself a new name, and found myself a new home, Summerford Farms. Trouble is, secrets don't stay secret for long round here, and word soon spread all the way back to the sea. The penalty for desertion is death, but the reefers offered me a way out instead, my freedom in exchange for my mates. The letter. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't bloody thinking, too busy soiling myself. Aye, but you got there in the end, didn't you? When the time came, you made the right decision. The men say little to me, but I hear him talk of how you stood up to the Reavers at the last, of how you tried to give your life to save theirs. Be that as it may, no deed, however good, can atone for the crime of betraying your brethren. I know that. I do. That's why I'm going to hand myself over to the Yellow Jackets. I'll bring shame to the farm no more. Hmm. You'll hear no arguments from me. Each man must sail according to his own moral compass. I just hope yours guides you back here some day. There will always be a place for you at Summerford Farms, lad. 
And I'll always be in your debt, Stalewern. All right. Well, let's talk to him again. I owe you a debt too, River. Not once have you let me down. Thank you for saving the men of my farm. If I could ask one more favor of you, it'd be this. Tell Batteron what's happened from start to finish. I'm certain he'd put in a good word for Severin if he knew the whole story. And he's one of the few people I know who the Yellow Jackets will listen to. Well, I reckon I've asked all I can possibly ask of you. Safe travels, lass. All right. So now we need to go speak with Batteron, the Drowning Wench. And we are going to use Return to go there quickly. get confused around here. There we go. Bloody hells. Life on the farm ain't quite how I pictured it. Ah, uh, but you needn't worry yourself over young Severin. The Yellow Jackets, as Anne's out the punishments, is a good mate of mine. If I ask him nice, I reckon he'd be willing to commute the lad's sentence from hanging to keelhauling. Kindly gent that he is. Ah, I'm only jesting with you. I'll see he's treated fair. Now, it sounds to me like you've done everything Old Stale weren't asked of you, and more, justifying me generous finder's fee in the process. Much obliged, lass. As for a reward, well, she's a lonely lady, this drowning wench of mine. How'd you fancy keeping her company for a spell, with a free room and board? Venturin's a trying business, after all. Them as don't rest their bones every now and again tend to end up with broken ones. And take it from me, fighting ain't nearly so much fun when you're nursing a shattered arm. Got that? Good. There'll always be a free bed for you, so make use of it. Not that you'll have much time for lying around. What with all the leaves you'll be doing. Oh, didn't I mention? I'm putting your name down for leaves. Our guild draws all manner of clients, offering all manner of odd jobs. Honestly, You'd be amazed how much folk will pay to avoid doing an honest day's labor. Just give Tomokri a shout whenever you feel like making a few extra gill. She'll always have some task or other for you to do. Oh, and it's all above board, in case you're wondering. We're capable, careful to stay on the Admiral's right side in here, unlike some pirates I could mention. I tell you... If it turns out they had ought to do with them kidnappings, there'll be seven hells to pray. A proper bleeding reckoning. Mayhap that's what Limsa needs, though. On rough seas, sometimes you have to rock the boat to right it. But we'll have time for such talk when you're well and rested. Till then, enjoy the wench's hospitality. Alright, you now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. Yep. And we gained another level. Let's go check out this uh, room. Great and lass, what can I do for you this fine morning? So retire to an inn room. Have a nice rest. Ha ha ha. Here is our room. We have Crystal Bell for, I think that's for, um, you know, if you want to change appearance. Orchestrion will play music, but you have to collect the music. Summoning Bell will summon a minion, but I don't think I have access to one yet. Glamour Chest is for, you know, visual, like um, transmog kind of stuff. 
Anyway, the unending journey lets you replay cutscenes, and then you have your comfy feather bed, which will allow us to call it a night, which is what we're going to do for this episode. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined, and I'll see you later.